Hello there, welcome to spreadsheet solving. In our video today, we're going to cover the array formula. There are two types of array formulas. You've got a single cell array formula, which we're going to focus on in this video, and you've also got the multi-cell array formula. Now, an array is nothing more than a collection of items. And so what a single cell array formula does is it performs many calculations on one or more items in an array. Now the multi-cell array function, on the other hand, will return many values and will be located in more than one cells. So in this case, let's take a look at an example that where we can use a single cell array formula to perform a calculation. Okay, so what we have here are the monthly returns of a given stock. So in other words, from January 1st through January 31st, this stock was up 4.5%. During the month of February, it was down 2.4%, etc. So one calculation we'd like to perform is what was the stock's quarterly return from January 1st through March 31st? In other words, what was its first quarter return? Now, you might think to yourself, well, that's pretty easy, right? Because all you've got to do is add up the returns during January through March. And we've learned the sum formula, so we can take sum, highlight the range, and click Enter. Ah, that's a great guess, um, and intuitively that, that feels right. Um, but unfortunately, this is not an accurate quarterly return. And the reason it's not accurate is it ignores something. It ignores compounding. So uh, the negative 1.2% is close, uh, but not quite accurate. So let's talk about the correct way to calculating the quarterly return when given monthly returns. Two ways to do it. We've got the long way, which will break down the calculation, and we've got the efficient way, which is using a single cell array formula. So I'm going to show you the long way first um, so that you can see what the calculation involves. And then you're going to see how using a single cell array formula will capture all those steps with one formula. All right, let's dive right in. So to calculate the, the quarterly return correctly, there are a couple steps. First step is you add 1 to each of the monthly returns. So I've got 1 plus the 4.5% and I'm going to copy this formula and paste it down. So here are the one plus monthly returns for each of the three months. The next step is I have to multiply these three. I could also have used the product function and then you subtract one from the product of those three monthly returns plus one. So negative 1.37% is, in fact, a more accurate return, quarterly return, compared to the negative 1.2% that we calculated earlier using the sum formula. Okay, so let's see how we can achieve this negative 1.37% using an array formula. So in other words, this one formula can perform all these steps. First step is to define the name of the function, which is array formula. At that point, we're going to have we're going to do the calculations all within this array formula. So how does it work? Well, we take the product, right, of 1 plus each of the monthly returns. So each of these monthly returns represents items within an array. So in fact, when you take the product of 1 plus this range, what this calculation is doing is it's taking one plus each of these monthly returns and taking the product of them. At that point, we subtract one, as we had done in our long calculation, and click Enter. And at that point, you have just seen, using this formula, all the steps that we calculated earlier have been performed in one formula. So that's pretty cool. Now there's a trick to uh, creating a, an array formula, and that is rather than writing array formula as we had done earlier, you can 
delete this. However, you have to do something very important on your keyboard, and that is you have to hit Control Shift Enter. When you hit Control Shift Enter, it automatically comes up with an array formula. Okay, so that's just a neat little tidbit. You can either write down the function name of array formula or hit Control Shift Enter, which automatically converts your formula into an array formula. Okay, thanks for listening. Feel free to check out the multi-cell array formula in our next video. We'll see you there.